Channel 4 News action segment. Here with your favorite reporter, Aiden Kang. Today, we're here to talk about the situation found on Long Beach Island, home to more than 5,000 res residents, many businesses, and popular vacation spot for millions of tourists. Here's the issue. LBI is sinking. Well, not really. While LBI really is sinking, the bigger problem is the water level. It's rising due to increased water temperatures and melting ice caps. There will likely be a two feet increase in sea level by 2100. Also, the glaciers in the Earth's crust melted, causing the formal bulge in the area to contract. This issue has been going on for quite a while, but has gotten more severe over the past 25 years. This is such a big issue that residents have reported seeing as much as two feet of water in the streets. Residents have also seen fish swimming in the street. You know, I was actually at LBI covering another story in 1995. And I could tell you, there were no fish in the street then. If it isn't solved, many people will lose their homes and valuables. Engineers are working on the problem and the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers are working on creating different solutions and plans with the county government for future fixes. One thing affected by the situation is property. Coming here all the way from New York, here is homeowner Bobby Dimidom coming to talk about how his property is being affected. Hello, I'm Bobby Dimidom, but you can call me Bob. Hi, Bobby. So, what does the issue of LBI sinking mean for your property? My property is losing value. I own the North Beach Haven part of the island, and first, I noticed a gradual decrease in my property value and my handsomeness, which is completely preposterous. <gasps> of course, it was minimal, so that didn't bother me. However, now, I have already lost 216.9 million. <gasps> Wow, I didn't know it was that bad. Thanks for coming, Bob. Thanks for having me. Not only does the property value loss affect Bob, it also affects the people who do own houses in Long Beach Island. Now, if the residents want to move to another state, they won't be able to sell their houses for a lot of money. Then they won't have enough money to buy a new house. A big aspect of the property value loss is the constant nuisance flooding. We have a citizen guest, Joseph Wang. He has agreed for us to send the video teams to his house so he can appear on the show from his home. Please welcome Joseph Wang. Hi, Aiden. Hi, Joe. It's great to have you on the show. So, as a Long Beach Island citizen, what exactly is nuisance flooding? Well, nuisance flooding is minor repetitive flooding caused by high tide and possibly rain. I live in the middle of LBI, so it isn't that bad. But for those who live near the shore, it's even worse. The frequent flooding is bad for getting to hospitals, emergency vehicles, and tourists. How come the water doesn't just soak into the dirt? While the water will just soak into the dirt, many paid services in LBI prevent water from soaking into the dirt. After Hurricane Sandy, the buildings in certain portions of LBI were raised to help with the flooding. Ah, I see. Well, it was great having you on the show. Thanks. It was gnarly to be here. Let's talk about actually fixing the problem. We have a guest from the county government. Who, who will explain the many solutions that can be used to solve this issue. Please welcome Larry B. Peasley. Hello, I'm Larry B. Peasley from Long Beach Island County Government. I'm happy to be here. Me too. So, tell me, what are some of the possible ways that we can fix this problem? Well, there are multiple paths of action that we can take, which include raising the buildings of LBI, building seawalls, and possibly having to evacuate the island entirely. We have already raised parts of LBI, but raising the buildings in the street will only delay the problem at hand. The seawalls can be quickly installed, so in the event of an emergency, they can be used to stop the flooding waters. However, 
you would run into the same predicament as you did with raising the buildings. If the water continues to rise, eventually, in a very long time, it would become higher than the seawalls, if seawalls are built. Of course, having to evacuate the island is the worst and most dire choice, but will have us spending less money. Those are all the possible solutions. Thank you for that very informative and long explanation. It was great having you on the show. Aiden, thank you for having me. It was a pleasure. Okay, so now I can talk about what I think, not just that. My boss hates when I do this, but I think it adds a good sentimental part to the show. Wouldn't you agree? My opinion on this topic is that it is very serious and consequential. I think this because it affects many people and businesses. I feel bad for all of them because they could lose their homes and their life's work. This would leave lots of people with nothing at all in a completely different state. I would say that the government should invest money in trying to fix this situation. This is because Long Beach Island is home to many people and probably holds treasured memories for many of them. Many people could also lose lots of money. Thanks for watching and don't forget to tune in tomorrow.